documents that you have to get ready when you are traveling to the Philippines as a Filipino citizen and you are bringing along your foreigner husband. There are special requirements. So, so, so. So we are still at quarantine day two. Uh, the time now is, what time is it now? It's 5.15 p.m. here in the Philippines. We haven't been through really the whole steps on things that you have to prepare, documents that you have to get ready when you are traveling to the Philippines as a Filipino citizen and you are bringing along your foreigner husband. There are special requirements as compared to couples that are traveling to the Philippines that are both Filipino citizen. So it's it's not like last time before pandemic. Before there's we don't we are not required to show any documents. We just have to show our passport and that's it. So Terry, since you are the one who really get everything ready while I am working, you are working hard too, getting our documents ready so we can go to the Philippines or come here to the Philippines is smoothly. What are the things that you really prepare? Before you even fly, there's like 20 steps you have to go through. And I'm gonna go through them one at a time. Even I can't remember all of these. So I'm gonna read them from my checklist. Number one, all travelers should register to the Bureau of Quarantine e-health declaration card, including all children. Register to the BOQ, that's what they call it, One Health Pass, to declare your personal information, health status, and travel history. Please note, this is a two-step process. Step one, register through the onehealthpass.com ph slash ehdc and completely fill out all required fields and fill out all of them. Upon completion, please ensure that you save a copy of your unique transaction number. That's a very important number because you're going to use it again, which you would need as you finish your registration for the eHealth um, declaration card before boarding your flight. So that has to be done before you board your flight. Do it at home prior to the flight. Step two of that two-step process. Prior to boarding, answer the ehdchealthpass.com ph by entering your unique transaction number. That's that number I was telling you in step one. To retrieve, for, retrieve your records. Upon completing the information, you will receive a unique QR code which you would present during boarding and upon arrival. This is step one and step two. You have to have this. This is what they're looking for, that QR code. You can also save it to your phone, which I did, but sometimes you don't know if you have internet in the Philippines, so it's best to print everything out so that you can have it you know, on paper also. As early as three days prior to your departure, you want to register and accomplish the uh, electronic case investigation form and save the confirmation email and QR code. Upon registration, your registration is complete once you receive an email containing your unique QR code. You may also prepay your RT-PRC test, which is your swab. They have a little section on at the bottom of step two that you could pay in advance before getting to the airport, but you can also pay at the airport using cash or credit card and some other types of payments they have here in the Philippines. And it's best to print that out also, print this out, because when you get to the airport, they're gonna look for this. Step three, download and print the affidavit of undertaking for submission upon arrival in the Philippines. Please ensure that you write your address and contact details in the Philippines on that. Ensure you have a confirmed booking at your hotel. And that's the number one thing they're looking at to see if you got those nine nights. And on the 10th day is when you're supposed to leave. They want to see you have nine nights of booking. Um, if you're on a 10 day quarantine, which everybody is, unless you come from one of the green lane countries, which hardly nobody here except Chinese people or very tiny countries can come in the Philippines and only quarantine for seven days. In accordance with Philippine regulation, only one person is allowed per room. Unless you are married or you have children, you cannot have your girlfriend stay in the room with you or any outsiders who did not travel with you. It has to be family 
only. During the flight, they're going to come around, they're going to give you some form. They're going to give you a custom form, an affidavit, affidavit of undertaking, and an arrival card. Ensure you have a copy of your health pass when they bring those forms around. Make sure you have a copy of your health pass because they're going to want to see that. That's the one with the barcode. If you do not have yet, please refer to step one before you fly. Okay, when you arrive in the Philippines, before you get off the plane, the um, government sends the Coast Guard on there to take your temperature and to collect your, what was it, health form. The yellow card. The yellow card. You can do it online, but for some reason they're still accepting them on the plane like that. After you do the um, health card, after you get off the plane, they're going to send you to different stations in the airport. It's not like in the past where the plane stops, everybody stands up, get their luggage out, and they take off. Even if, if you're in economy, the economy people are running up to the front before the business class can get off the plane. So now they board, deboard by location. So if you're in business class, you get off first, then premium economy, and then economy. So if you're in business class or economy, you're lucky because you don't have to wait in long lines. Once you get into the airport, they have different sections that you have to go through. And it's very organized. They, they, you finish one, then they have somebody showing you where you go to step two, step three, step four, all the way till you get outside of the airport. Um, but when you get in there, they're going to want to see your all your paperwork that you pre-printed. And they want to see that you have a 10-day stay at a hotel. You have paid for your swab test. And you printed out those barcodes because you're going to need those the entire time. Once you um, pass through all that, then you got to go through your customs and immigration. Immigration is going to put a sticker in your passport if you're married, giving you the um, Balak Beyond visa. For which, foreigners. For foreigners who have a, a Filipino spouse. Philippines is closed. No foreigners are allowed to come into the country unless... You're married to a Filipino and that Filipino comes in with you, or if you have a 9A visa, I think they can come in also. But you can go to the Philippine Embassy in Washington, D.C. and get a 9A visa. Those are the only foreigners are allowed into the country. Unless you're from one of the green countries, they consider a green country. You, you come in, but you have to quarantine. Depending on which hotel you go to, they're going to want to see your QR code again. And you have to register again right there in the hotel. They're not going to bill you for anything, even though you pay for your hotel online, they're not going to charge your credit card until you actually get here. That's so if you your flight is delayed or you change your date or something like that, you won't be billed for that hotel. But once you're here, then they will, they will bill you for the hotel. And it's best when you when you bill your, to book your hotel, book the hotel shuttle to come and pick you up so you don't have to ride in a taxi. In our case, we had like four big luggages. That's not going to fit into a taxi unless you do it like coming to America and tape it to the, the hood of the car. Once you're in the hotel, you're here for 10 night, 10 days, nine nights, 10 days. On the seventh day, on the sixth day, you're going to get a, a, a notice saying um, that they're coming to swab you on the seventh day. On the seventh day, they will come. They will do your, your swab up your nose and touch your brain. No. They, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the uh, brain. This thing is that long. But on the seventh day, they'll do your swab, and then they will get your. They will email your results to you. I think it's within a day or so. And then on the the morning of the tenth, you go down to the hotel. They will. The hotel has to release you. They'll give you a form saying that you're released from quarantine. Then you go on to your next your next destination. And once once you get there, you're supposed to check in with your health department there, and local. you're supposed to local department of health, and they um. Will quarantine. You're supposed to quarantine for four days once you get to your final destination. That's uh, the process. Let me clarify also that the ten day quarantine, the day one, it starts when uh, when the day of your plane touchdown. That's when it starts. If it touched down at eleven fifty nine on the sixth, then the entire day of the sixth is your um, quarantine counts as one day, okay. even though you're only there for one minute. Once you arrive. Um, and you go through the stages they have inside the airport. When you go and they check, verify that you paid for your swab test, they're going to put a sticker on the back of your passport. The sticker shows which hotel you're at, 
and which laboratory that's going to be getting your results for your swab test. Don't peel the sticker off. It's very important. Keep that sticker on there. And then while you also when you go through the custom, I mean immigration, they're gonna stamp in your passport your arrival time. And then when you leave, they're gonna do a departure um, thing. But when you when you come into the Philippines, you come with your spouse, they'll put a it's not an official, I mean a, a sticker or anything, but they write BB in your passport. That's for Balak Bayan. Yes. That's good for one year. So in my own experience, let's start back in New York when we boarded uh, Philippine Airlines. First document that they asked for us is, first is my Philippine passport, my birth certificate, our marriage license, and my U.S. passport. So those four documents, we presented them at the check-in counter. The reason for the... Her old passport to show that she was Filipino because she was traveling under a U.S. passport. So they need to verify that she was a Filipino. So they looked at her Philippine passport. And then they wanted to verify that I was we were married so that I could travel um, by looking at the marriage certificate. If we didn't have the marriage certificate, I wouldn't have been able to fly. And, my birth, to have that. and my birth certificate to show that. My name on birth certificate is the same name that's on the marriage license. Because the U.S. passport, it's a different name already. It's Charmy Johnson. And also, if you have dual citizenship, bring those papers also. You didn't, they didn't look at it, but just in case. So after we went through all that uh, booth that we are required to, we went straight to the immigration, and then we went to the carousel to pick up our luggages. One thing I noticed, there's no open stores at the airport no duty free i'm very sad because i did not buy any chocolates in the philippines so no pasalubong i don't observe any private private cars at the pickup area it's either hotel transportation or taxi also before you travel even though you you haven't used you probably will never use it make sure you download the trace application Put it on your phone. And the way they do this is they you register, they give you a a um a trace ID, and I guess it just traces you if they have to do contact tracing or anything like that. In the United States, we are only required to wear a face mask during traveling inside the plane or even outside. Before boarding the Philippine Air Philippine Airlines you must have a face mask and face shield all throughout the flight and also uh, inside the airport at Naiya. So make sure you have your face shield before boarding the Philippine Airlines. Click the bell please!